Okay, so um, Lipstick Ascending on Caterpillar Tracks by Klaus Oldenburg. Um, we're still in the 60s. Uh, if you look at the date here, that's going to, if you know anything about American history, if you look at the date, this should definitely tell you something about what might be happening with this image, right? Especially if you look at this part of the image. All right. So um, based on what you can see, right, what do you think the artist is doing here? Uh, so you would want to back that up with some kind of piece of visual evidence. And so hopefully if you're looking carefully, you might notice, and w given that it says caterpillar tracks, that looks looks like the bottom of a tank, right? And this of course is a suggest, it's lipstick, right? So there's has gonna have to have something to do with, of course, the Vietnam War. Um, and uh, so we're gonna find out what it has to do with the Vietnam War. And of course it's, um, actually you don't know this, uh, it was, it's located it was located and still is located, although it was rebuilt um, on the campus uh, at Yale. Um, so we know that you know student protests were a big part of the uh, movement against the war in the '60s and '70s, uh, the war, Vietnam War. Um, so we can, uh, this actually was used in, uh, in its initial form as a platform for speakers to stand on while making speeches, anti-war speeches. Um, so you want to know for Klaus, just like we wanted to remember uh, Helen Frankenthaler for being part of the abstract expressionist movement and being uh, and her the soak same method. We want to note Klaus Oldenburg for pop art, pop art, which is so short for popular art. We've t used the term pop art before with Andy Warhol, right? Um, so you may you may recognize some of Klaus Oldenburg's pieces. Maybe you've seen them in one in person. This is my favorite floor burger. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's kind of revolting. Uh, so um, so obviously he's dealing with things that are oversized, right? Uh, that tends to be what he's uh, kind of his, his, I don't call it a shtick, but his, what he's interested in uh, creating. Um, so Oldenburg uh, was a popular artist or pop artist, right? He embraced representation, whereas the abstract expressionists like Helen Frankenthaler and Jackson Pollock, and we don't study, uh, but um, were interested in abstraction, right? Pop artists were all representational. Um, they were uh, representational, representational in strange ways, but they were still representational, right? And so, what they used were consumer and uh, consumer images, popular culture images. Think back to that Marilyn diptych, right? When we talked about Andy Warhol and pop art, right? Um, so, uh, a group of Yale architectural students. Um, commissioned him to do this work, uh, and, but he did it. He did it for free. They just helped pay for the materials. So I'm going to let you uh, read through this information, uh, and uh, because you've got the presentation in front of you, uh, but I wanted to show you a few uh, other pieces or images from it. Uh, this was the original piece, right? And so the, the red part from the lipstick, they would then, you know, uh, it's obviously deflated and they would pump it up. Obviously in the current image, uh, it's not something that deflates. Well, yeah, it doesn't deflate, but the original one had deflated. So obviously it's, it's making fun of um, uh, kind of... Uh, Ma you know, militaristic manly ideas, you know, uh, by putting this lipstick that is deflated um, on a caterpillar track. Um, and so again, we have images of people protesting the war there. Um, so you can read this yourself. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, uh, kind of a strange piece, a funny piece. That's it. Thanks.